Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is part 9 of interview question and answer series on digital design. And particularly in this video, we are going to discuss something very important about processor interrupts. This is very small video and I have included a single question in this video. Recently, one of my friends faced this interview question in one of his interview and I thought it is very important and must be shared. So I created this video. Now without wasting much time, let us get started. Friends, a processor has multiple input lines as an interrupt signals. And in this figure, I have shown two types of interrupts. One is NMI, non-maskable interrupt, and IRQs, interrupt request lines, through which various peripherals can take attention of the processor. So as the name indicate, interrupt, the peripheral is going to interrupt the processor. So when a peripheral sends an interrupt on any of the IRQ line, that means that peripheral is seeking immediate attention of the processor. And processor has to leave its normal execution flow. So for example, if processor is executing something, so it has to leave it there and it has to give attention to the peripheral and has to execute the task requested by the peripheral using this interrupt line. So once this interrupt is served, processor will again come back to the normal execution flow where it left. So friends, this is very brief introduction about interrupts and we are not going deep into this subject and I am assuming that all of uh, you know basic about interrupts. So now I am coming to the question which was asked in the interview. Friends, for your information, many peripherals support level trigger interrupts and many peripherals support edge trigger interrupts. Now you have to tell me what is the difference between level triggered or edge trigger interrupts. You can pause my video here, take your time, think of it. If you know its answer, write down in the comment section. I know many of you would be knowing this, but many of you would not be knowing it. Okay, now I am going to explain you its answer. Let us get, discuss level trigger interrupt first. So when we say an interrupt line is level trigger interrupt, it can be of two types, logic zero trigger interrupt or logic one trigger interrupt. So let us take an case if the line is logic zero trigger interrupt. In that case, the usual level on the line will be logic one. But when the peripheral want to give an interrupt to the processor, then it will change the level of this line and it will make it as logic zero. So when this logic zero is detected by this interrupt controller, this processor will serve this interrupt by detecting logic zero. And the most special thing about this level trigger interrupt is peripheral has to maintain the level at the interrupt line. For example, in this case, logic zero till the interrupt is served. And after serving this interrupt, processor has to clear it by writing into some of the register of a peripheral. Till that time, this peripheral will, will not change the logic level at this interrupt line. It will be only changed once this interrupt is served by processor and processor will clear it by writing in one of the register of the peripheral. Then the level will become logic 1 in this case. Similarly is the case with logic 1 trigger interrupts. So in that case, the user level on the line, interrupt line will be logic 0. So when peripheral want to send an interrupt, it will make its level as logic 1. The processor will serve this interrupt and will write into one of the register of the peripheral and then this peripheral will make the level of the line as logic 0 again. So this was all about level trigger interrupt. Now let us discuss about the edge trigger interrupt. So if the line is configured as an edge trigger interrupt, it can be of two types, positive edge trigger interrupt or negative edge trigger interrupt. Now let us take an example of positive edge trigger interrupt. So in positive edge trigger interrupt line, the usual logic level on the line will be logic zero. So whenever the peripheral want to interrupt processor, it will give the positive edge. So that means the peripheral will change the level from logic zero to logic one. 
and that edge will be used as an interrupt signal by the processor and the processor will serve it now the very important thing in this edge trigger interrupt is so once the peripheral has made the logic from 0 to logic 1 after some time only it will change the logic to logic 0 again it will not wait for the processor to complete the interrupt but after certain amount of time as per the configuration of the peripheral peripheral will make the logic level logic 0 again it will not wait for the processor whether the processor has served the interrupt or not and the processor is not going to write any of the register in the peripheral when the interrupt is served similarly is the case with falling as trigger interrupt so in that case the usual level on the interrupt line will be logic 1 so when the peripheral want to interrupt processor it will make this level as logic 0 for some time and after that time it will make the logic as logic 1 on the line it will not wait for the processor whether it has served the interrupt or not and in the same way processor is not going to intimate peripheral by writing into any of the register that it has served interrupt so this was all about level triggered or edge trigger interrupts in a very summarized way in level trigger interrupt logic level will be changed by the peripheral to give an interrupt signal to the processor and processor will clear that interrupt by writing into some of the register in a peripheral in an edge trigger interrupt peripheral will give the edge on the interrupt line processor will serve the interrupt but peripheral will not wait for the processor to serve the interrupt but it will change the logic of the interrupt line to the normal level similarly processor is not going to clear not going to write any of the register in peripheral in case of edge trigger interrupt so friend this was all about the level trigger or edge trigger interrupts and with this i am going to wrap up this video and i hope that it would be quite informative for all of you and in future we are going to create many such videos which could be quite useful for all of you viewers those who has not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it so that you can get the notification of all the upcoming videos and to get the notification as early as possible, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching.